For many people, the biggest news here is that they would get another round of stimulus checks, just a little bit smaller than they did before. Also part of the bill, $300 per week for enhanced unemployment insurance benefits. And the Greater Pittsburgh Chamber of Commerce is applauding the bill. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kim Gable. Joining us live now to talk about the pros and the cons of this compromise is Chamber President Matt Smith. And Matt, we sure appreciate you being with us here tonight. First of all, why is this good news for, for small businesses? Yeah, it's good news. We've been advocating for this for, for a long time, so it's a long time coming, and, and we wish it would have happened, frankly, months ago. Uh, but we're pleased that there is a bipartisan agreement now to move this bill forward, uh, get it to the president for his signature. There are many things in here that will benefit small businesses. Uh, a few items that I wanted to highlight, uh, one of which is uh, the large uh, small business assistance, $325 billion dollars. Uh, going out to small businesses, restaurants, hospitality, live venue, entertainment venues uh, that we know are really the cornerstone of, of our community. They provide uh, community vitality. Uh, they help us to attract and retain talent and business investment. Um, so that's a really critical component. And of that $325 million, there will be another $284 billion in PPP loans that will be issued uh, like the first round of the, of the CARES Act. And Matt, one of the many things this bill does not include, though, is that $160 billion in aid to cash-strapped states and cities. So what's the Chamber's reaction to that? Yeah, we thought that was really important, as, as we did with the liability safe harbor. We think that's still really important. We're pleased that there's bipartisan agreement. We know that uh, that's going to require compromise. Those two issues are still very much front and center for us as we move into early next year. We'll continue advocating for those issues because we believe that those are really core to coming out of the pandemic in a really robust and sustainable manner. And you know, what about the detractors too who say this is just a Band-Aid? What else needs to be done by Congress at this point as we look ahead to 2021? Yeah, in addition to the state and local aid and, and the uh, liability protection, we do believe that there's going to be more needed, frankly, uh, for small businesses. This is, as you said, really important. There's $15 billion for entertainment venues. There's $7 billion in this package to bridge the digital divide that exists right now. In additional broadband investment, there's public transit funding. There's, uh, you know, really core funding to, to businesses. But this is, this is really a down payment in our mind. There's going to be much more needed from our friends in Washington, D.C. as we move through the pandemic because these small businesses are so vital for our communities and we need to make sure that they're given every opportunity uh, to make it through this pandemic, make it through to the other side and do as they always do, provide that community vitality uh, and vibrancy to, to downtown, to different neighborhoods, uh, not just in, in Pittsburgh and Allegheny County, but throughout the 10 county region in southwestern Pennsylvania. All right, President of the Chamber, Matt Smith, thanks so much for joining us tonight. We appreciate your time.